Hello guys, me Wazari Guru here, and today we have a bunch of radios to unbox. We have four radios to unbox today. And I'm on the phone with, or Discord, BC with, whatever you want to call it. Alright, Austin Vance, the middle of one of the radio guy. John Deere, Phoenix 725. Only 10 Ohio, yeah, yeah. Alright, and we have two packages. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we have this one. This is a Radio Shack 382. You heard me, right? A Radio Shack 382. So here's a power supply. Wow. This is a radio, uh, sorry, 7Force 210 power supply, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's like the one that came with that one. Oop, and that just. But yeah, pretty cool. And on the best, best car of all, the actual radio. The Radio Shack 12-382. This is a 2007 model. Um, and this, the tuners actually work in this radio, so surprise, surprise. And hopefully that will stay working forever. I mean, this is a 2007 model, so it actually might stay working. But I don't know. I don't really know how these work. Um, yep. And see, so yours has the smaller screen. You see, by your watch warning, it has the white Noah white purple color. So it's basically black and white. It's a black and white version of the 260, which is way back there. And it's gonna go right side of it. So yeah, as my cat eats food in the corner. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, stick a nine volt in. I do have batteries laid out right here for the radios. Yep. Yeah, they kind of the 38 two was. I don't know why. They think they put like two AA's or three or even four if they really wanted to. Like make it like. They would have gone with three. All right, you're powered six. on. Oh god. I think I'll go ahead and take a nine volt with six double A's. For Saturday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers. Highs around 60. It has a very good speaker quality, actually better than the 261. Let me move this up away. So quit. This is a five. This is the three. This battery two came out the same time as the 262. <laughs> yeah, it did. 262 came out in 2006. So it came out a year later. But they weren't. Yeah, but not very many of these, not very many of these radios were sold. I don't think every Radio Shack had, I only think the major Radio Shacks had them, not like the smaller ones, just the bigger ones. The ones that carried a more variety. The 2.53 and the relative humidity 72%. The wind was west at 13 miles an hour. Yeah, definitely has good speaker quality. And we do a sound test. It's a yellow back level. It's green on camera. It's actually yellow. Or it's kind of a greenish yellow. The LED is actually thinner rather than coming on instantly. Yeah, I burned myself if you're wondering why it's taped like that. But, um, signal reminder, alert reminder. I've already gone through and enabled required weekly tests and all that. And Caleb decided to test about 10 minutes ago. So, yeah, that video will be uploaded here in a minute. So yeah, that is the first radio, and I'll go ahead and show you guys real quickly. I do have the backlight sound constant. If I turn off, if I turn my light here, you can see there's the backlight. I don't know why it looks dim. It's actually really bright. But yeah, there's that. December 6th, 2021. Right, they are very small radios. Okay, come on. That's what she said. That's what he said. Oh my goodness, so yeah, um, I'll go ahead and set this somewhere. Set it right here. You can see, here's my version one of my background. And the tape right broke on this. Right did not have it. And if you open this box, we have, well, we have greeted with two radios the version 5 300 and the 12 240. And we'll save the best for last. 
Well, actually, well, it's three on this, but. So, here we have version 5300 with the text. I actually used to have one of these right before I actually when I started YouTube. If you saw my older videos. But, unfortunately, whenever I modded that radio, I, it broke. The screen broke on it. Um, I did successfully yeah. mod it with a white back white, but the screen broke on it. And let's not say why the screen broke. Let's not say why the screen broke. Very stupid reason. But, yeah, it has a 1112 serial number, so it's very close to being a... 12, which is when the deluxes came out. Yep. Pretty cool. I did mod this radio already. Surprise, surprise. With a blue warning light. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real quickly. If I grab my batteries here. Actually, those are for the Accurate. Whoops, I just gave away. Damn it. I put the batteries in the studio very slowly. And I gotta do that again. This is a delay test. It's very difficult. See there? Blue warning light. The version 5. Yep, version 5. Matches a version 3. I mean, what? We'll a person three. They didn't even make it. It has a very bright backlight. Still has a bright backlight, and for some reason it's a preset ninety nine point five. Wonder yeah, who, I did that. Wonder who did that? I know you did that. For the northwest Piedmont and foothills, including the Triad, Mount Airy, and surrounding areas, west of tonight partly cloudy, much cooler with lows in the lower thirties. That still has a very bright back light, which is pretty surprising. How yeah, we're going to other free sets that are on it. And if we put one, <laughs> three point nine. Oh, yeah, you're the best. Keep up your Medicare confusion with simple, easy answers and easy Medicare Wow, it's getting another channel name. He's a little ducky dog. Oh, I wish you could see it. I'm glad they're on commercials so I can't get copyrighted. All right, so that is this radio, and this radio is going over there until I find a new place for it, a new home. And here we have 12 inch 240. You may be wondering why it's missing the power cord. The power cord is in very bad condition, so I went ahead and took it off, and this radio is actually pretty damn broke. Put it that way, very broke. Um, it will not play the weather, and it makes a loud as humming noise whenever you plug it in. And the siren sounds like a running snail. It, goes, it literally sounds like a running snail. From the humming and the siren mixing together. It sounds like a fucking running snail. Literally. And you see it has the older Radio Shack logo. The battery terminals are also missing. This is made in 1995. It's not a realistic yeah. model. But, uh, yeah. It's a pretty cool little radio. But this will most likely be for parts or until I can fix it. Or I did put a new capacitor on it and I still didn't fix the issue, so. Yeah. And last but not least, and probably best, is the Accurate 008525 with some reading from the box. Does it say what the model is? Okay, that's nice. This can fucking tell what the model of the damn radio is. Okay, I don't know, I read 8025. Okay, come on. Fucking Fox. Fucking Fox is more difficult there. But yeah, right there. So model eight zero 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 eight five two five. At least that's what I think the model is. But it's not a power cord, but I do have one that will work with it. Oh my God, come on, box. There we go. This box clamshell thing. Oh, and it just pulled the whole 
insert with it. It's very hard to do when you have five weather wheels on your desk. Oh, sorry, four. Close enough. I will put that box together at the end of the video, or when I'm going to video. So, here it is. It is a red and gray handheld with an orange backlight, which I think is really cool. And I would definitely be using this radio a lot. Like, a lot. And the belt clip for is actually right here, because I forgot to put the belt clip on it before I put it back in spots. But the model is 8550. So, I was right. Of course, it's made in China. That's where all most weather rays are made anyway, so... If I get some batteries for it, we can get rain showers much cooler with highs in the lower forties. And she has pretty, pretty orange backlight there. Pretty orange backlight. So yeah. And um that is pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh thank you guys for watching. It's unboxing, and there will be another unboxing, hopefully Thursday, of a radio that is kind of uncommon. It's uh well actually there'll be two unboxings. I don't know when the other one radio is coming. I do now that the person ships it out tomorrow. Um, but it's coming from SP, SPC Paducah. Some people on here know what I'm talking about. Some don't. So, will that be a surprise? But it is going to need a lot of work. That's all I'm going to say. So, it will be in pieces when I unbox it. Hint, hint. So, yeah. Well, thank you for the following people for joining. What's our name? It's on there, fan 725. Austin Vance, the Midland Weather Radio guy. Sorry, I got the phone. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's kind of long, but who cares? Unboxing's a long. Hey, the charging light in the HH shock. Oh, good. So you have a modded HH shock like hey, I do. Yeah, hold on. Don't end it just yet. I'm not. Are you serious right now? Fucking computer. Ah, of course the red is equal. Yep, I know. Aspects. Is it green? Well. What color is it? I don't know, it's been like since today. What color is it? But yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.